Greetings, Manta Ray 79 here, and welcome back to another deck profile video for the Card Fight Vanguard Trading Card Game. And now in today's video, the deck profile I'm gonna be making one for is a D standard formats: Dragon Empires, Dragonic Overlord D and Whiff cards from DZ Quick Start Deck 01, Dragon Empire. Already, let's begin. And now for the ride deck. For the cards in this ride deck, we have one Grade Zero Lizard Runner Undo starting unit, one Grade One Embodiment of Armor Bar, one. Grade 2, Dragon Knight Nihalem. 1, Grade 3, Dragonic Overlord, The End. And 1, Right Deck Crest, Energy Generator. The Grade 0, Lizard Runner Undo, Starting Unit. Skill, Auto, when this unit is rolled upon. If you went second, draw a card. So for undo, it's the starting unit of this deck. Like any other starting unit in the D standard format, it features the same skill and activation. When written on top of, if you're the second to go in the game, draw one card. The Great One, Embodiment of Armor, Bar. Skills, first skill, auto. When this unit is rolled upon by Dragon Knight Nihalem, cost, Counter Blast 1. If the cost is paid, Search your deck for up to one Great One card, reveal it, put it into your hand, and shuffle your deck. Second skill, Auto, as a rear guard. Once per turn, when your Vanguard's attack hits, this unit gets plus 5,000 power until end of turn. So for Bar, it's the main Great One to ride in this deck. If it skills the first skill, when you ride Dragon Knight Nihalem on top of it by paying the cost, you can search your deck for any Great One card to secure for your later game strategy. Any second skill, while bars on your rear guard while the conditions of the skill are met, you can then turn your bar into a potential 13,000 point attacker for your front row or 13,000 point booster for your back row. The Grade 2, Dragon Knight Nihalem. Skills, first skill, auto. When this unit is rolled upon by a unit with Overlord in its card name, call this card to rear guard. Second skill, action as a rear guard, once per turn. If you have a vanguard of Overlord in its card name, cost, Soul Blast 1. If the cost is paid, this unit and all of your vanguards gets plus 5,000 power until end of turn. So for Nihalem, it's the main grade 2 to ride in this deck. If it skills the first skill, when you ride an Overlord on top of it, you can then superior call Nihalem from the soul to the rear guard to serve as a potential front row attacker or a rear guard whose skill you wish to take advantage of later in the game. Any second skill, while on the rear guard, as long as the conditions of the second skill are met you pay the cost, you can then not only turn your Nihalem into a potential 15,000 more attacker for your front row, but you can also give a little extra power to your vanguard to make it easier to pressure or finish off your opponent with. The Grade 3, Dragonic Overlord, The End. Skills, first skill, continuous, as a vanguard. During your turn, if your soul has a Dragonic Overlord, this unit's drive check cannot decrease from card effects and it gets plus 5,000 power. Second skill, auto as a vanguard, once per turn. At the end of the battle, this unit attacked. Cost, counter blast one and discard two cards from your hand. If the cost is paid, stand this unit and it gets drive minus one until end of turn. So for Dragonic Overlord the end, it's the main grade 3 to ride in this deck. If it skills the first skill, as long as the conditions of the first skill are met, not only do you get to give a little extra power to your vanguard the end, but then you can protect it from having its drive check reduced by card effects. For example, the second skill of Dragonic Overlord the end, after attacking by paying the cost, you can reset your vanguard at the cost of minusing its drive, but as mentioned before in the first skill, as long as you've got a basic Dragonic Overlord in the soul, the negative effect of the second skill is negated, thus allowing you to have two Vanguard attacks with Twin Drive. The Right Deck Crest, Energy Generator. Skills, first skill, you may only have one Right Deck Crest in the Right Deck. Second skill, Auto from the Right Deck. When you ride, 
put this card into the crest zone. If you went second, energy charge 3. Third skill, continuous, you may have up to 10 energy. Fourth skill, auto, at the beginning of your ride phase, energy charge 3. And the fifth skill, action, once per turn, cost, energy blast 7. If the cost is paid, draw a card. So for energy generator, it's a powerful crest card to have in the D standard format, which is the second skill. When you ride from any grade, for example, grade 0 to grade 1, you can immediately deploy this crest from your right deck to the, or to the crest zone, thereby giving you a crest to can two skills you can which take advantage of later in the game. And if you're the second to go in the game when you add this crest into your crest zone, you can also energy charge 3, giving you energy to make use of later in the game. And the fourth skill, every time it's the beginning of the ride phase, you can keep stacking more energy to the energy generator, giving you more energy to take advantage of later in the game. And the fifth skill, by paying the cost, you can draw more cards to restock your hand with. And of that, we just about covered the deck's ride deck. Next, let's get on to the deck's great one lineup. And now, for the Great One lineup. For the Great Ones in this deck, we are playing... 3. Great One, Drag Ritter, Mid Hot. 4. Great One, Drag Ritter, Halb. 3. Great One, Twin Buckler Dragon. And... 1. Great One, Blitz Order, Elementaria Sanctitude. The Great One, Drag Ritter, Mid Hot. Skill, Auto as a Rear Guard. When your unit stands by your card's ability, cost, retire this unit. If the cost is paid, draw a card. So for Mid Hot, it's a pretty good card to play in your Dragon Empire Nation decks, especially for the Overlord series. For its skill, whenever you restand a unit on your field, Vanguard or Rear Guard, by paying the cost, you can draw more cards to restock your hand with. The Great One, Drag Ritter Hall. Skills, first skill, continuous. When this card will be discarded from hand for the cost of the ability of your Vanguard of Overlord and its card name, it may be regarded as discarding two cards. Second skill, Auto. When this card is discarded from hand for the cost of the ability of your Vanguard of Overlord and its card name, you may call this card to the back row rear guard circle. If you called a card, this unit gets plus 5,000 power until end of turn. So for Halt, it's a support card for the Overlord series with its skills the first skill. Whenever you would discard cards from your hand to pay for the cost of a Overlord skill, Halt himself then can be treated as two cards, thereby reducing the cost of the number of cards to discard for any Overlord skill, for example, the ends. And the second skill, which works together with the first skill. Whenever Halt is discarded for the cost of an Overlord's discard skill, you can then superior call Halt from the drop zone to the rear guard to serve as a potential 13,000 point booster for the back row. The Great One, Twin Buckler Dragon, Sentinel, Perfect Guard. Skills, first skill, Continuous Sentinel. You may only have up to four cards of Continuous Sentinel in a deck. Second skill, Auto. When this unit is put in the Guardian Circle, choose one of your units, and it cannot be hit until end of battle. If your hand has two or more cards, choose a card from your hand and discard it. So for Twin Buckler Dragon, it's a perfect guard for the Dragon Empire Nation. Like any other perfect guard in the Card Fight Vanguard trading card game, it features the same skill and activation. When used to guard with, discard one card from your hand, and you can block one enemy attack. But it also features an ability unique to all perfect guards in the D standard format, which is, when used to guard with while you have less than two cards in hand, you will not have to pay the usual discard one cost, thereby making Twin Buckler Dragon a potential no-cost perfect guard in desperate last resort situations. The Great One, Blitz Order, Elementaria Sanctitude. Skills, first skill, Continuous Sentinel. You may have only have up to four cards of Continuous Sentinel in the deck. Second skill, Continuous. You may only have one Elementaria Sanctitude in the deck. Third skill, if your opponent's Vanguard has Triple Drive, this ability can be played without paying the cost. Play as if it costs of, discard a card from your hand. If your Vanguard is grade 3 or less. If the cost is paid, choose one of your units, and it cannot be hit until end of battle, remove this card. So for Elementaria Sanctitude, it's the Blitz Order version of the Perfect Guard. 
like any other perfect guard in the card fight vanguard trading card game it has the same skill and activation which is when played by discarding one card from your hand you can block one enemy attack but ideally elementaris Santitude works best against opponents who play decks that specialize have in having a vanguard of triple drive for example, Great Fours, G Units, or Vanguards who have their drive checks increased by skill or card effect against such opponents, Elementaris Santitude then can serve as a potential no cost perfect guard. And of that, we just about covered the deck's Great 1 lineup. Next, let's get on to the deck's Great 2 lineup. And now for the Great 2 lineup. For the Great 2s in this deck, we are playing 4 Great 2 Ardor Hatchet Dragon, 4 Great 2 Burning Horn Dragon, 3 Great 2 Berserk Dragon, and 4 Great 2 Steel Bull of Dust Storm Epen. The Great 2, Ardor Hatchet Dragon. Skills, first skill, continuous as a guardian. If your soul has a card of Overlord in its card name, this unit gets plus 5,000 shield. Second skill, action as a rear guard. If your opponent's vanguard is grade 3 or greater, cost, retire this unit. If the cost is paid, choose a grade 3 card of Overlord in its card name from your drop and put it into your soul. So for Ardor Hatchet Dragon, a support card for the Overlord series, if it skills the first skill, as long as the conditions of the first skill are met, Ardor Hatchet Dragon then can serve as a potential 10,000 point shield all on its own. Second skill, as long as the conditions of the skill are met and you pay the cost, not only do you get to build up your soul for later soul blast, but you can also put a specific Dragonic Overlord into your Vanguard soul to make use of any skills that require such cards in your soul to work with. The Great 2, Burning Horn Dragon. Skills, first skill, auto, when this unit is placed on the rear guard, cost, counterblast 1. If the cost is paid, look at the top 7 cards of your deck, reveal up to 1 card of Overlord with its card name, put it into your hand, and shuffle your deck. If you do not reveal a card, countercharge 1. Second skill, auto, as a rear guard, when your vanguard of Overlord and its card name attacks, this unit gets plus 5000 power until end of turn. So for Burning Horn Dragon, another support card for the Overlord series, if it skills the first skill, when called to the rear guard and paying the cost, not you, you can then search the top cards of your deck to search for an Overlord card to add to your hand to secure for a later game strategy. And the best part about this first skill, it's refundable. In the off chance you fail to get any Overlords of the first skill, you can then counter charge one, thereby refunding the counter blast you paid to play Burning Horn's first skill. And the second skill, while on the rear guard, whenever your Vanguard Overlord attacks, you can give plus 5,000 power to Burning Horn. So this second skill is a good way to make your Burning Horn into a powerful front row attacker for your field. And the best part about this second skill, it's stackable. For the Dragonic Overlord series, specializes in restatting and attacking multiple times your Vanguard. For every time your Vanguard Overlord attacks, you can continue stacking power to Burning Horn Dragon, giving you a front row attacker who has a good chance of either pressuring or finishing off your opponent with. The Great 2, Berserk Dragon. Skill, auto as a rear guard. When this unit attacks, if you have a vanguard of Overlord in its card name, this unit gets plus 5,000 power until end of battle. Then, cost, counterblast 1. If the cost is paid, choose one of your opponent's great two or less rear guards and retire it. So, for Berserk Dragon, a is another support card for the Overlord series. If it's skill, Whenever your rear guard Berserk Dragon attacks, as long as the conditions of the skill are met, Berserk Dragon not only can serve as a potential 15,000 point attacker for your front row, but by paying the cost, you can also wipe out your opponent's field of rear guards. The Great 2, Steel Bull of Dust Storm, Ethan. Skill, auto as a rear guard. When your Vanguard's attack hits, cost, retire this unit. If the cost is paid, draw a card and counter charge one. So for Ethan, it's a pretty good card to play in your Dragon Empire Nation decks if it's skill. While on the rear guard, while the conditions of the skill are met, whenever your Vanguard lands a successful attack on either your opponent's Vanguard or rear guard, by paying the cost, not only do you get to draw more cards, but you can also countercharge, thereby refunding your counterblast for later skills. And of that, we just about covered the deck's Grade 2 lineup. Next, let's get on to the deck's Grade 3 lineup. And 
And now for the grade three lineup for the grade threes of this deck, we are playing four grade three Dragonic Overlord. Three grade three Dragonic Overlord, the end. And one grade three Normal Order, Gradia Graydale. The grade three Dragonic Overlord. Skills, first skill, continuous as a vanguard or rear guard. During the battle this unit attacked a rear guard, your opponent cannot call cards from their hand to guardian circle. Second skill, auto as a vanguard, once per turn. When this unit attack hits, cost, counterblast one and discard a card from your hand. If the cost is paid, stand this unit and it gets drive minus one until end of turn. So for Dragonic Overlord, it's one of the main grade threes to play in this deck. It skills, the first skill. For the first skill, as either a vanguard or rear guard, whenever you choose to attack an opponent's rear guard of Dragonic Overlord, your opponent cannot guard that attack with your cards in their hand, thus giving you a almost certain guaranteed attack to help you land against an opponent's rear guard. And the second skill, as long as the conditions of the second skill are met and you pay the cost, you can restand your vanguard for another attack. The Grade 3, Dragonic Overlord, the end. Since we already explained this card's abilities and effects during the ride deck portion of the video, we're going to skip ahead to the next card. The Grade 3, Normal Order, Gradia Graydale. Regulus Piece. You may only have one Regulus Piece in your deck and use it a total of one time in a fight. Skill. Play this if, it, if you have a Grade 3 Vanguard of Persona Ride, and if you did not ride this turn, activate Persona Ride, draw a card, all of your front row units get plus 10,000 power this turn, and you are regarded to have Persona Ride. So for Gradia Graydale, a pretty good card to play in, in the Card 5 Vanguard trading card game D standard format. For in the event you did not ride, and if you meet the conditions of the skill, you can initiate the Persona Ride, thus giving you more cards in your hand and more power in your entire front row, thus increasing your offensive and potentially defensive options for your later game. And of that, which is what covered the deck's Great 3 lineup. Next, let's get on to the Trigger lineup. And now for the trigger lineup. For the triggers of this deck, we are playing one Great Zero Dragon DD King of Resurgence Dragvita over trigger. Four Great Zero Burning Flail Dragon Critical Trigger. Four Great Zero Blaze War Monk Sokyo Critical Trigger. Three Great Zero Flare Veil Dragon Draw Trigger. 2, Great Zero, Stealth Fiend, Amavira, Heal Trigger. And 2, Great Zero, Cure Flare, Draco Kid, Heal Trigger. The Great Zero, Dragon, DD King of Resurgence, Drag Vita, Over Trigger, Skill, Trigger, Additional Effect, Choose one of your Vanguards and Stand it. So for Drag Vita, it's the Over Trigger for the Dragon Empire Nation. Like any other Over Trigger in the Card Fight Vanguard trading card game, it features the same skill and activation. When revealed during a drive check or damage check, you can give your unit on your field plus 100 million power and draw one card. But it also features an ability unique to him alone. When revealed during a drive check on your turn, you can restand your Vanguard for another attack, thus giving you another Vanguard attack to either help you pressure or finish off your opponent or to simply drive check more cards to increase the chances of either getting a trigger or to simply restock your hand. The Great Zero, Burning Flail Dragon, Critical Trigger, Skill, Auto as a Rear Guard. At the end of the battle, this unit boosted. Cost, put this unit into your soul. If the cost is paid, choose one of your units, and it gets plus 2,000 power until end of turn. So for Burning Flail Dragon, a powerful critical trigger to have in your Dragon Empire Nation decks with its skill. After boosting an attack, regardless if the attack is or not, as long as you don't mind moving Burning Flail from your rear guard to your soul, you not only do you get to build up your soul for later soul blast, but you can also give a remaining attack on your field, Vanguard or rear guard, a little extra power to work with. The Great Zero, Flare Veil Dragon, Crit Draw Trigger, Skill, Continuous as a Guardian. If your opponent's Vanguard is Grade 3 or Greater, this unit gets plus 5,000 Shield. So for Flare Veil, a pretty powerful Draw Trigger to play in your Dragon Empire Nation decks with its skill. When used to guard with, while the conditions of its skill are met, your Flare Veil then can serve as a potential 10,000 point Shield on its own. 
the Great Zero, Stealth Fiend, Amavira, Heal Trigger, Skill, Auto. When this unit is put in the Guardian Circle, if your opponent's attacking unit has attacked two or more times this turn, this unit gets plus 15,000 shield until end of battle. Active if this battle is a second attack this turn or more. So for Amavira, a powerful heal trigger to play in your Dragon Empire Nation decks with a skill. When used to guard with while the conditions of the skill are met, your Amavira then can serve as a potential 25,000 point shield all on her own. Ideally, Amavira is a counter heal best played against opponents who play decks that specialize in re-standing attacking multiple times their units, their vanguard or rear guard. And the Great Zero, Cure Flare Draco Kid, Heal Trigger, Skill, Auto. When this unit is put in the Guardian Circle, if the attacking unit's critical is 2 or greater, and its critical is increased by a non-trigger effect ability, or its original critical is 2 or greater, this unit gets plus 15,000 shield until end of battle. So for Cure Flare Draco Kid, another powerful heal trigger to play in your Dragon Empire Nation decks with its skill. When used to guard with while the conditions of the skill are met, your Cure Flare then can serve as a potential 25,000 point shield on his own. Ideally, Cure Flare is a counter heal best played against opponents who play decks that specialize in increasing their attacking unit's critical, vanguard or rearguard by skill or card effect. And of that, we just about covered the deck's trigger lineup. For the triggers of this deck, we are playing 1 Over Trigger, Drag Vita, 8 Critical Triggers, 3 Draw Triggers, and 4 Heal Triggers. And of that, we just about covered the deck's trigger lineup. And of that, that's all the time we have for today. First, I want to say is thank you to the viewers for watching today's video and to please stay tuned for more videos I plan to upload again in the near future. And I also hope you all share support by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to my videos and channel. And of that, I say goodbye and see you all soon.